Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel where we talk about all things Facebook ads and today we're going to be going over a highly requested video which is how to create a business manager. It's obviously very confusing because this is now the fourth time that I start this video. First thing you're going to need to do is understand that every single business should have its own business manager. So if you have a clothing store and you have a shoe store, they should each have their own business managers and then you can add yourself in to manage those businesses. Um, secondly, your business manager is basically like a home for your Facebook business. In your home, you can have access to different rooms, just like you would in a house. In your different rooms, you can have your Facebook page, you can have your Instagram page, you can have your ad account. So creating a business manager is really important. Now, what you're gonna need to do is go to business.facebook.com slash overview. You should be logged in to your personal Facebook page that is already connected to your business page. So if like you're posting on your business page organically, um, your personal page should be connected to it and you should probably be an admin. That would be the easiest way to, to go about this. So we're gonna go to create account. Now we're basically just gonna put in this information. So your business and account name. So this is going to be visible uh, across Facebook. And for, for this demo, I'm just gonna do example, business, my personal name of what it's gonna be viewed as inside of there. Let's just put Sydney for now. It's just a very, you know, it's a demo. And then you're gonna put in your email. You are gonna need to confirm this, so make sure that you do have access or if you're creating it for someone else that they're gonna have access to it too. So if you do have this pop up right here, then you're gonna wanna make sure that you don't already have a business manager. But for this case, I actually want to create a new one. So I'm gonna never mind that. Um, then you, like I said, you are gonna need to confirm your email address. So once I do that, I'm gonna come back to the video. Now you're gonna be brought to this page. What I would recommend, since this is still business suite, you're gonna to go to the bottom left corner and go to switch to business manager you're automatically going to be redirected to business suite, but we want to go to actual business manager. So first thing we're going to do is you can go to business settings by clicking the little hamburger, then going to business settings right here. All right. So then we're brought to this page. So you are going to want to enter all of your legal name and address and all this important stuff right over here. And to give access to different assets inside of your business, you would do that right over here. So the first thing I would recommend is actually adding uh, users to your business manager. And this would be actual people who have access to your home where they can manage things as well. So if you have like a few people in your company or if like you and your other business partner, you should both have access to everything inside of this ad account. Now, these are these different assets that you can have. So here is a Facebook page. We're going to go add and you can either add a page that is already created and this is probably what you're gonna be doing if you already have a Facebook page. You can request access to a page so, or you can create a new page if you don't already have a Facebook page. But here what I recommend is adding a page if you already have a Facebook page. So you're just gonna input the URL into, the, um, into this bar right here and you would get access to it. So once that's added in, you can go to add accounts and you can either add an ad account that's already created, but chances are if you just created a business manager, you probably don't already have an ad account. And if you do, it might be associated with your personal page. So create an ad account. So I recommend just, so, so you would just input all of your information here. Again, this ad account should be named what your business is named and you could, you could name it, you know, XYZ ad account. So you know that this is specifically for an ad account if you wanted to, but I would just make sure it contains your actual business name that you're going to be running your ads from. Set the time zone. This is really, really important. And also set the currency uh, to whatever currency you're going to be running your ads in as well. Another asset that's important to connect is your Instagram account. This will actually ask you to just log in. So make sure you have your username and your password handy and you can just connect it that way. And this is basically how you create a business manager and how you connect your assets. Now, last thing that you are going to do is 
set up your business information, like I said um, before, and make sure you have all of this information in here. But as you can see, there's lots and lots of settings and lots of options here. This is really like a home for all of your business assets. All right, that's it guys. That's how to create your own business manager and connect your assets. If you have any more questions, you can either drop them in the comment section below, or you can join our Facebook group, all things Facebook ads. I'll leave that in the description as well. And if you're currently running ads and you're spending at least $3,000 per month on your Facebook advertising spend, you can apply to work with our agency. We do offer a full done for you service as well as coaching and consulting uh, for your Facebook ads. So you can go to the description, find the link and just fill out the questions and that will um, allow us to get back to you about booking you in your first consultation. So have a great one, have a great rest of your day and we'll see you in the next video.